14 Pro Max review, similar to the 13 and similarly great too. Our updates like Apple's Dynamic Island and always on display enough to make the iPhone 14 Pro Max your next iPhone. Our verdict The new iPhone 14 Pro Max is everything most people will need from their top tier Apple phone. It looks expensive, has a defining visual feature. That dynamic island and everything from the screen to the camera. Its interface, battery life and performance all do a great job. The phone does have some quirks. Not everyone will love Apple's take on the always on display and we are not sure why the lightning connector is back. But it's still an excellent package, albeit an expensive one. I am all for premium glass and metal design. Dynamic Island is a novel UX highlight. Best in class performance, camera improved over 13 Pro. I'm against too large for some. Battery life could be better. All or nothing, always on display. It's a very expensive phone. The first question we ask ourselves when reviewing the Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max was what does it have that the iPhone 13 Pro Max doesn't? Especially given the fact both phones look similar. With its predecessor already among the best smartphones of 2022, it would take quite something to outdo it. The most obvious upgrade in the 14 Pro Max is the Dynamic Island. A novel take on the punch hole and peel shaped selfie camera cutout we've seen in Android phones for a few years. Then, there's the new improved camera system with its bigger sensors and higher resolution that should make the 14 Pro and Pro Max the best iPhones for photography. Day in, day out, you'll notice the new 14 Pro Max always on display. How can you not? The screen never turns off. Anyone who was hoping for major design change in the new iPhones is out of luck. From the back, the iPhone 13 Pro Max and 14 Pro Max look virtually identical. Both feature three stovetop style cameras, both enjoy a frosted glass luxury, and both have stainless steel metal frames that are very, very polished. Available in space black, silver, gold and all new deep purple colour, we have the later option and it's a colour shifting elegant aubergine delight. The matte frosted finish fence of fingerprints well. Though the same can be said for the frame, it feels rich. Many were expecting a USB-C connector this time around, bringing the iPhone Pro family in line with the iPad Pro and virtually every other smartphone, laptop and smart device launched in 2022. But no, Apple is still firmly attached to its lightning connector, and it isn't budging yet, in true iPhone style. There's no headphone jack either, and if you are in the US, you don't even get a SIM card slot. Is the front of the phone where things start to look a little bit different? We spend years getting used to the iPhone notch, where the selfie camera and face ID sensors live. These have been shrunk and now live in a peel shaped cutout in the top center of the screen. In true Apple style, a design problem, components cutting out a portion of the screen. 
is turned into an opportunity to make a visual flourish, so the dynamic island was born. We'll go into more detail when it comes to the dynamic island's functionality a little later. When discussing the iPhone 14 Pro Max UI in a nutshell, though the pixels around it fade to pitch black, make it appear to expand and contract depending on what's on screen. And it all looks, you guess it, dynamic.